Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. In this video, we will see how to properly create selectors while Cypress testing by following the best practices. So, let's get started. In the first video, we saw how to install Cypress using Angular, how to create commands and also how to create an end-to-end -end test, right? Let's now improve what we have developed and focus on the selectors. The selectors should be isolated from CSS or any other change so that we have stable test. Let's see an example. I will open the login component HTML file and what we can see here is that we have a username field, a password and a submit button. Nice. Let's focus for a while the submit button. At the same time, let's also open the login spec file, which is the end-to-end -end test. We have two different tests here. The first one says should not login if the form is invalid, and the other one should login if the form is valid. What we're doing is that we're visiting the root, we change the URL, we provide in the form control name, something, and then we have a selector here we're getting the button and we click the button. It works nice. The question here though is the following. How about later on in the development, six months from now, we introduce one more button here. This selector, I get button, will return two different buttons and of course, this test will fail. And this is why we said that we should make the test isolated for any change. The solution to this problem following the best practices is to create a data CY attribute here and provide a value. The value should have a context, should have something meaningful. We are in the login component, so we can be like login submit button. What we have to do now is change the selector. Instead of get the button, we can get the attribute data CY with this value, login submit button, and then click. Let's see how the login works. The first one is green, the second one is green. So it seems that we improved it a bit. Let's also go here in the in this command, in the CY login, let's follow this, and we can see that even here we have this button, which is a wrong one. And I will copy this selector and I will go to command and replace it. Nice. So this is uh, the first improvement. Let's go back to the end to end test. Both of them are green. The second improvement, again, in the same end to end test is to improve the form control name username. We might think here that you know what? Here we have an attribute, data CY, and here as well we have an attribute, form control name. What are the chances to change? Well, the chances are to change from reactive forms to template driven forms. And again, the test will fail. Following the best practice, we have to create a data CY and provide here, for example, login username field. And let's do the same for the password and replace the username with password. Nice. Let's copy this. And now let's go to the login and replace the form control name username with a new selector. And let's do the same in the command, in the CY login. I will follow this and I will replace the form control username with a data CY and also let's go back to the HTML. I will copy this so that I can replace it here. Sorry. I meant here. Let's see what we have. Both of them are green. Let's rerun. Nice. This is the first improvement that we did in our tests. The second improvement is in the product spec file, product spec.ts. What do we have here? We have 
a command, login, we provide the username for funnies and a password. And then what we're doing is the following. Get the app navigation, all the LI items, and they're going to get this index and click. Okay, and as soon as we do this, we expect the URL to be products. Let's go to the navigation, component HTML, and here is the first item, and this is the second item. If we click the second item, the URL will be products. And how about now, if we introduce something new, for example, users, and the router link will be users. And of course, we do not have a green test. This is a failure. And the reason is that we do not follow the best practices. The best practice for this, again, is to use a data CY. And we can use something like link dashboard. The same here, link users and link products. To make it more stable, what we have to do is to go to the product spec and replace the app navigation LI with this. And of course, we no longer need to have this index and we click it. Let's go to the end-to-end -end test to see what we have. And this is green. And as you can see, we have here the dashboard, we have the users and we have the products. Now, even if I remove the users, the test will be stable. Let's rerun this. And yeah, we have a green test. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.